Now you'll notice that by default, Dreamweaver has added what's called an event and an action to our play button on the screen. The event is what's commonly known as a mouse event. When somebody in this case mouses over the button, the action is that the timeline will play. If you want to change your event to something else, you can go ahead and click on the events button here on your behaviors panel and you'll notice that you can choose events for different browsers. Let's choose an event for 4.0 and later browsers. And when I do this, you'll notice I've got a whole opportunity here to choose all kinds of other mouse events. Let's choose on mouse down. That means when somebody clicks down on the button, now the timeline will play. And we can do the same for the stop button. We'll click on the stop graphic, choose the plus button from the behaviors panel, choose timeline again, and this time we'll choose the stop timeline behavior. Again, you can have more than one timeline, so you can of course dictate which timeline will stop, whether it be all the timelines on your page, or in this case we just have one timeline, so either option really is one and the same in this example. We'll click OK, and again we've now added an event and an action to both our play and our stop button. So if we now want to preview what our visitor would see in a browser, We'll go back to our file menu and we'll choose preview in browser and we'll preview in Internet Explorer. This time you'll notice the timeline automatically plays but we can now click the stop button and stop the slideshow from playing. We can also control this by clicking on the play button and making it advance as well. We now have let our visitor control our timeline, in this case our animation, using JavaScript.